The men of our country are being sacrificed by the blunders of boobies. The cupidity of capitalists, the ambition of conquerors, the lusts and lies and rancors of bloodthirsts who love the war because it opens their prison doors and sets them on the throne of power and popularity. In her imagination, had gone beyond theatres. She was always complaining about proscenium arches constricting her. In the Joan Littlewood and the architect Cedric Price started talking about how they could create a venue that was more accessible to all people. Not just the kind of people who normally went to theatre or to the opera or to the ballet, but to anybody who wanted to go. And Cedric Price, brilliant architect, came up with this idea of one space to hold them all. Cedric's proposition was this University of the Streets was that people, if you gave them choices, as you have on the internet now, of what their appetite was at the moment, how they could find out how to use it, how they could synchronize that idea with an unexpected idea that might you know, spontaneously arrive, or they, they wanted to put two things together that, in an unexpected way. All of this was possible. Sorry, can I whisk us back, or whisk you back, really, to uh, 1958 and A Taste of Honey? And I was looking up today <coughs> Joan Littlewood's book, Joan's book, where she says the original script by Sheila Delaney was a mess. It's interesting that Sheila Delaney decided to send the play to Joan Littlewood. I think she was, Littlewood was very outspoken. There'd been quite a lot of press about the company in the paper. And she might have known about Joan Littlewood because of the connection to Salford, which is where the theatre workshop had been based. She might have known that she worked with untrained people because she really wrote asking for advice and criticism. She said, you know, she really did. I really believe in community. I believe in uh, the potential, the genius of the individual. And, you know, every person's an artist. And I think, you know, we have, we're in danger of forgetting that in some ways. Joan always used to say, ah, you're, so you're not in the next production. That's good, because now, now you can study. Now you can go, she always used to say, I, I want you to go to every art gallery in London. I want you to look at those pictures. I want you to read the plays. I want you to go to this. It's a wonderful training period. Um, and when she first said it to me, I thought, oh. <laughs> uh, but it was, it was true. Uh, and you just mustn't give in.